Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a kind of the overview of the respiratory system. So the purpose or function, key function of the respiratory system is that it works with the circulatory system to deliver oxygen to your cells. So it's not just that it brings oxygen in the body, but ultimately it's that it's getting oxygen for the cells. That's really important factor to remember. And then we're gonna kind of run through some of the key structure pathway for this system. So we're gonna start with the pharynx. The pharynx is this kind of central, I almost think of it as a lobby. It's just this cavity that connects the nasal cavity, the oral cavity with the esophagus and trachea. So it's, it's just a pathway, a cavity, a room, as it were, um, that connects all these different things. And then we have the epiglottis, and notice that's two Ts. Um, and it's this little flap. And what happens if you think about it, when you swallow your food, it goes to your stomach, not normally your lungs. And so what happens is the epiglottis, this little flap will actually flip over the windpipe to block your respiratory system off when you're swallowing food. Is it a perfect system? Obviously not. Um, as we all know that sometimes we get things where they're not supposed to be. So we go through the pharynx, <clears throat> past the epiglottis, into the larynx, which is also known as the voice box. So this is where you're going to find the vocal cords, although they're not actually cords, they're really little folds or flaps. And what happens is when you exhale, it only works on the exhale, these flaps will vibrate and that's what makes sound. And we, of course, as humans have figured out and, and learned how to manipulate the lengths of these cords, these flaps in such a way that we can make a variety of sounds, um, ultimately stringing them together into speech. So we go through there, through the larynx into the trachea, which is the main windpipe. And you can feel that right along your throat, and you'll feel like these little rings, these are cartilage rings that keep the airway open at all times. So this is all about moving the air. So far, it's all conducting. We're carrying that air into the body. Then we move into the bronchi. It's the, the main trunk of the trachea is going to split into two bronchi going into the two lungs, which ultimately will split and split and split to bronchioles. Think of it like tree branches. At the ends of these bronchioles, you find these little clusters that kind of look like little clusters of grapes. And you'll notice we have arteries and veins that kind of wrap around and engulf them. These are the alveoli. This is the point where we're going to transfer oxygen from the alveoli into the bloodstream, to the blood, to be carried to the cells. So this is that point where we're going to move from one place to the other. Everything else has been about moving it, conducting it to this point where we can do the exchange. Now this whole process is possible because of this little pink muscle down here below the lungs. And that is known as the diaphragm. And the diaphragm normally is sitting at a curved position. And when it contracts, it flattens out, making the whole chest cavity bigger, there's more volume there, which lets the air flow in. To, in our next lesson, we're going to talk about the whole mechanism of breathing concept. Hopefully that helps. And we will see you in the next lesson.